And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, many of you will soon be picking up something sweet for your sweetheart. But that box of truffles or giant chocolate bar will likely be more expensive than ever this year. Our U.S. correspondent Kevin Osbeck explains why from New York. In her Queens, New York chocolate studio, Margaret Schmidt is creating her handmade chocolates as fast as she can. When you get a beautiful piece of chocolate and it melts lovely in your mouth, life is fine. With cocoa prices rising nearly 40% in the past four years, the key ingredient in her chocolate is getting costly. At the expense of her bottom line, she's kept her prices the same. But the cost of most candy has risen with the price of cocoa. They are raising the price. There's no question about it. People will have to pay more for their chocolate. It's not a good thing to be able to say, but it's going to happen. And of course, the bigger the chocolatier, the bigger the impact can be from rising cocoa prices. In 2014, Hershey's raised the prices of its candies by 8%. Now Hershey's and some of its competitors are chipping in one billion U.S. dollars to support sustainable farming and boost output. Much of the chocolate sold in the U.S. is made with cocoa from West Africa, where recent poor weather and farming conditions have cut supplies. Plus, a growing middle class in places like China and Brazil crave the sweet treats, too. So global demand for chocolate is higher than ever. Still, those shopping here in New York's Times Square are willing to pay any price for their Valentine's Day chocolates. It's almost like an expectation, so you got to get it. No matter what the price is. Yeah, no matter what the price is. But for Schmidt, whose chocolate shop is in a working class neighborhood, her customers don't have as much to spend. It's tougher for an everyday business, but seasonal people have to come in and have their Valentine's for their wife. They have to have their bunny for their kid because they had it growing up. So it really is all about holidays at this point. So after she sells an expected 40,000 pieces of her handmade chocolates for Valentine's Day, she knows business will scale off. For some, chocolate is now too expensive to be an everyday indulgence. Kevin Ozbeck, CCTV, New York.